what are some of the things that you've learned or advice that you can give to entrepreneurs that uh, you've learned as an investor that they mm -hmm. can take away with? That's a great question. I mean, I, I somebody told me this the other day, uh, which I found startling that you know pri in private equity there's a bias against you know operators because mm. uh, presume that you know invest investors are you know are a uh, are an expertise and a profession right and it's yeah. a different skill set than being an operator. You know I couldn't disagree more. I think that uh, when you're an operator and you've operated a business, you understand that nothing plays out the way you expected it. You have a reasonable sense of what people need and how they don't behave according to your plan and your PowerPoint and just all the issues that come up. So I personally think every investor who's going to make it a career should have a stint as an operator. It doesn't mean you need to found your own business, but it needs to be, means that you have to get your hands dirty. Mm. And to learn the most important thing is that Nobody does exactly what they say they're going to do, and nothing works out exactly as the way you planned it. Right. right. I mean, I know it sounds so obvious, but when you're an investor and you haven't gone through that, then your expectations are going to be unreasonable. Yep. And and I think the most successful investors are the one who truly are value add. Everyone says they are. What does it mean to be value add? Honestly, number one is that you're empathetic. Mm. You're empathetic from a place of experience. Yeah. Oh, I'm dealing with a CEO, and we we doubled the number of units in in eighteen months. And now the system is stressed because we didn't scale accordingly. Well, like, of course. But as an investor, if you hadn't gone through that, now you want to see the scale. You want to see the double number of units. And you're holding them accountable because they don't have the management team in place. Well, what do you think was going to happen, right? Yeah. So when you're an operator, you realize, okay, you, you race, 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 you pause. And you fix, correct, mitigate, race, 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 pause, right. fix, correct, mitigate. And if you haven't gone through that cycle, you just don't know. So... I think for anybody who wants to get in a career in investing, like go to a startup that's a mess and and go out there early and work on everything. I mean, one yeah. of the coolest jobs I ever had, uh, one of the times I left Giuliani, was going to Cosmo.com, K-O-Z-M-O. Uh, Cosmo. Yeah, okay. so, so it was an internet company. It's so funny telling you this, like it's an ancient story. It's just like, <laughs> you know, one of the lost. Yeah. Uh, internet company, 1999, who's going to deliver everything to you in under an hour. Wildly successful, had raised like $300 million or oh, something. Wow. Yeah, had... had uh, uh, businesses in 10 cities and guaranteed everything that you wanted in under an hour. They had these warehouses and people would ride on bicycles to deliver it to you. Wow. You know, uh, 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 movies, ice cream, anything you wanted. Um, but I, I, I was there very, very early uh, and watched all these different things plays out. But I've learned some of the most important um, lessons in business from that period, including in the waning days of the company, and I had all these stock options, and I was going to be rich and whatnot. And I had decided I made a made a, made a judgment that it was going to not end well. Yeah. Decided to leave. When I was leaving, there were a couple of executives that were really impressive from 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 significant companies who had quit their big impressive jobs to join us. At the huh. moment, I had made the decision to leave, and so and it and and and, and it ended up shutting down. And I'm not judging them, but my takeaway from that was like. Don't outsource your judgment to somebody who's a supposed expert when they are not an expert in this area. Mm. They were coming from mature companies and probably had bought in a bit to the hype and they had decided to go there. So what's my point net net? Getting the experience in an operating business will make you a much better investor than the, than the opposite. Mm. Like I, I just I just think it's so 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 valuable.